Okay, welcome to this week's Moto Show. I always say that slow. Why do I say I that? I don't know. It's like you've been wound down or something like that. It's like you, want, you should be like, welcome to the show. Yeah, Exciting. welcome to the show. We hey. Well, after five days at the Dirtbike Show, I felt a bit knackered, to be honest. Yeah, I was only up there for the day. It was fine, really. Yeah. A bit tired yeah. after the party, though. Come back to that. Yeah, party was uh, good. No twerking, luckily. Hey? No twerking. No. <laughs> <laughs> I had, a, I had a bit of a wiggle, I think, as I walked to the bar, a bit of a swing. I, I thought, you, I thought you'd, you followed through, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, I felt like it, I tell you. I think Ben was in danger of that. Oh, sorry, I mentioned Ben. Oh, no, oh, no, no. Ben. Been nice to Ben all these yeah, He'd have a very hot meal. He, he, he couldn't finish it. That was a hot meal he had there. Yeah, had a bit of a bad tummy old Ben, didn't he? Yeah, I think so. Bought yeah. on his own menu choice. We'll leave, we'll leave that. We're not allowed to talk about no, that. He's no. had a rare up on us. Oh, I love Donkey. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's got that video, actually, I think. Yeah, I love Donkey. Yeah, Triple X. brings a tear to the eye. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's eye. So, what what should you talk about? Well, I guess we ought to do stuff, stuff what we saw at the Dirt Bug Show and Ting. And Ting. And Ting. Well, let's start with... Um, uh, there's a lot of team announcements. Riders moving, possibly moving, not moving whatever retiring or whatever quite a few actually announcing at the show which yeah the, the main one really i would say there's, well, there's quite a few but the main one for me would be the hm plant ktm team of uh, sean mel pocock natalie kane yeah there uh, was mel, mel at the show i didn't see mel mel was there thursday i missed him i spoke ah, to his right. dad on saturday and uh we had a bit of a laugh because he said I said, I said, oh, you should have, you should have come looking for me because I need to, I needed to interview him. And he said, oh, you don't like getting interviewed by you because I'll ask awkward questions. Mm. Oh, well, is he tricking him into saying stuff? Yeah, I'm good. Yeah, You've been known to do that. <laughs> You've been doing it today, I hear, you little rascal. You little rascal. Yes. Nah, it's uh, the right. Yeah, I, I enjoy. I, the thing is, with the riders, I like asking something different rather than the same old thing. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. We went with a random question. Have you run the random question? I know. Um, ran the, the random questions are going to be uh, run. Random, <laughs> run the random on, question random, around the ragged rock. In, yeah, it's going to be run later in the week. Yeah, because that, that came up with some really weird stuff, didn't yeah, it? Yeah, that was good. Yeah, some people were really wishing they hadn't they, they, they hadn't said, said too much. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, Richard. <laughs> I know you're talking about you. Sam Cole. <laughs> <laughs> They're nice houses, but yeah. even nicer horses. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Giddy up, boy. <laughs> no, it's not like that. <laughs> uh, Come yeah. on, HM Plant. Right. HM Plant, oh, KTM. No. Clement's shirt's falling down Clem now. Look, this is oh, Jim's. Oh, well, that, that there is... Uh, what's it? That there is Clement's shirt. We've got that. We're going to give that away. Signed by Clement. And thank you very much from Fox Europe. Um, he's turning into a bit of a knockabout fun guy now, Clement, he's, isn't he? He's uh, all about the fun. Yeah. Yeah, he was mm -hmm. good, actually. He was good. Even if he switched on for one day, he was good. Yeah. Yeah, fair play. So we're, go we're actually going to run... This is a really, really busy show, actually. We better say what we've actually got planned. We have... Uh, Clement de Salle interview, which is pretty rare as Rock and Horse, what's it? Yeah, you were flying solo on that one, weren't I you? I was flying solo on that one, It was, uh, but we set it up all in the Fox thing, it was ah, well, pretty yeah. cool. And we've also got, which is great, the uh, uh, World MX2 champion, Jeffrey Hurlings, who was yeah. on bang on form. He was he was really good, he's really so yeah. much matured so much, he would look like he was enjoying the interview, had yeah. time for everything, he was hanging around on stand, talking to the fans, yeah. no element of star about it, about him, he was no. he was, he was just a bit there, be it, being a, a good bloke, so yeah, it was good, and yeah. he got a good interview there, he it chatted was. and chatted, didn't he? He did, we could probably run on for another 10 minutes. It could have been one of those Piers Morgan sat down in a darkened room and go, go on for an hour, couldn't we it? We could, we could have, there was a few things I wanted to ask him, but no, we kept it light hearted and a bit of fun, and uh... yeah, I'm not sure whether he had makeup on his head. I reckon he's had a bit of a slap on his head there. To yeah, be well, we're gonna we're gonna actually end the show with that interview, uh, which would be different. So yeah. Um, yeah, have a world champion on the show on the Moto Show. It'd be great if we could have him here, but that's another time, I think. Yeah, I think so. But he would, yeah. I think he would have done if he'd been around. I think if he was down in Bristol, yeah, <laughs> he'd probably yeah. have a few sherbets. Clement said he's gonna pop in. Yeah, <laughs> he did. He did. I asked him, and he said, "Yeah, oh, fantastic," <laughs> and he was gone. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right I'm out of here yeah. <laughs> said to his people who is he I don't, no idea yeah quick get, him, get me away get me away from this bloke <laughs> didn't he used to be that fat guy <laughs> 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 is he a thinner, thinner brother <laughs> yeah 
what were we chatting about anyway? Well, HM Plant team. HM Plant KTM. Yeah, so Great the, the, team. Sean, that sign now. Mel, sign. All done and dusted. Natalie Kane, back for another year. She'll do... We've got another interview with Natalie Kane later in the week as well. Yeah. yeah. Uh, she, she was on good form, She was she? on good form, yeah, having a laugh. Um, I'm good at making riders laugh. Yeah. <laughs> don't know why that is. she did have a big neck scarf on like she had a neck brace underneath there I wonder if there would be an accident I think it was a fashion look to be oh, honest was it a, fashion, a bit of fashion yeah but it looked like that scarf was, was, was about 150 yards long around it. <laughs> like Doctor Who <laughs> <laughs> off of Tom Baker and the 70s for the ones who can't remember Tom <laughs> Baker just Google Tom Baker and Doctor Who they'll probably know his, his voice from Little Britain won't they yeah world's yeah. longest scarf <laughs> <laughs> anyway um yeah and also uh james dunn as well back on forum and uh ben watson yeah so pretty solid strong squad well they've done they've done well this year came and came over with t- title this uh two titles this year um so they will expect to do probably much much the same of course it hasn't been announced where elliot has uh, has gone as yet so he's not uh, he's not re-signing with with hm plant but that's uh, i suspect that's going to come out fairly fairly he soon needs to have done it really it's a bit um yeah. uh, it's one of the questions i asked sean there's an interview on i'll put it below on the link but there was an interview i did with sean I was asked him why all this, why is all the, he answered it really well. Still, still didn't make any sense. Yeah, I guess it, the, yeah. The, the, the crux of it was they're still negotiating, but it, it, it seems. You know, it, the, when we talk about, you look at, and a prime example would be football. You're talking multi, multi million pound deals. Yeah. And they're, they're linked with probably four or five different teams, different managers are chatting. Yeah. You know, so motocross, if they're getting 25, 30 grand or whatever it is. Yeah. But still, I, I guess that they're sense. all wanting to make sure that they're, they're, they're protecting their interests and don't say anything that shouldn't be said. And certainly, when they're still in contract with the previous one, I think have, that's the problem. Be, I think that's the problem with the they? sport. To be honest, is there uh, there are certain teams and certain in the past that uh, if they've either tested or um, uh, maybe had a picture taken yeah. um, with that uh, with their sort of new team, the other team might not end up paying them. Yeah, and it's that's curious. At the, at the end of the season, there's bound to be a transition from one one, to, one to the other. Yeah. And if you've done a good yeah. good job for, it. I mean, if if you've been problematic all the season and you yeah. choose to be seen on another bike, then I think we'll probably deserve what you what you yeah, get. Yeah, to be honest, yeah. but towards the end, then you try another try another bikes. But we all know that the, the riders must try these bikes in in, uh, in 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 secret beforehand. You'd have to really. I you think know so. you're going onto a bike. Yeah. Uh, but either way, that, that, that's what it is. But LA, LA still and, needs and to all tell back, us. they're all back racing in the UK, which is great. Yeah. Yeah, we should have uh, strong, cl- strong classes next year. Another one we missed, sort of just missed it off the show last week, was uh, Brian Mack to as the uh, official Kawasaki team there, the Pendra Kawasaki. Yeah, I mean we we kind of knew that. Um, we spoke to him after um, after Farley, yeah, uh, and we looked like looked like it was going in that in that direction. So it's good, he you know puts in the work for Kawasaki. He likes the way they work. Yeah. It, was, it was quite interesting to talking talking to him, and again we interview interview him there at a show of just how hard um, how hard he works. Um, and again we, we we spoke to something about the additional costs um for for, for for going to the rounds and just how long the day's going i mean he said if he end up going to landrake he won't get back home until four o'clock in the morning it's a long day so much longer than everybody lives yeah. lives centrally for it so you know, it's an interesting conversation because again I've, we, we got an interview with brian, uh, uh, brian with on the random question thing but he did say um you know his part of his deal is to he gets up the following day and he's got to clean the trucks yeah. So ain't no rosy lifestyle. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Now I've got a rock and roll, uh, rock, rock and roll tale about that. Go on. Back in my uh, days when I was do- doing the venues, we had the, the mighty Nickelback playing. Who? My, exactly. Who? Uh, <laughs> anyway, after the gig, came outside and there's the the lead lead singer washing the washing the coach down. He said, "Well, the bloke needs to be driving all night. He's having to sleep. I'll wash the wash the coach." What a nice guy. Can I play to him? Yeah. Awful music. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so Brian Mack, and also joining Brian Mack is Jordan Booker, but I spoke to Jordan, he just didn't seem, there's pictures of him around the, around the web and stuff, and with his Kawasaki shirt, and he just didn't seem 100%. It's really well, odd. He was in a bit of a strange mood, actually. Yeah. He turned up in that little blue, that little blue uh, jacket he had on, yeah. which made him look about 12. Yeah. Um, it's just weird. Yeah. Obviously, he is, but it just didn't. He didn't seem a hundred percent. It's just yeah. a bit odd. George, and I texted him today actually. And could you tweet some pictures of you looking really excited to be on I, a new Kawasaki yeah, deal? I, I texted him today. I said, "Are you riding for Kawasaki?" And he didn't reply. So oh. I've asked him to come into the show, but obviously, oh well, yeah, he's only down the road, isn't he? Yeah. Really? 
Yeah. But there we go. Um, another interesting little snippet is um, Preet Ratzip possibly riding for Oakleaf Kawasaki. They tested at Meepol on uh, Sunday. Hmm. Mm. Well, I don't know much of his work. Um, he no, obviously he's, he's been a bit underneath the, underneath yeah, the radar. Yeah, he's been injured for a little while. Yeah, he does. He's always, his name does sound like what your remainders on your Scrabble board, doesn't it, really? That's it. It's going to be all that's kinds. 100, that's 100 pointer, that <laughs> All kinds of incorrect pronunciations at the track on that one. Yeah. But, Most, um, some of them quite unfortunate, I think. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so he basically, yeah. So, again, he's... Um, I've just noticed... He's moving he, from... You've swapped the bloody mics over again. This is your mic. Oh, you you tested them. No, you put mine here. Yeah, it's my microphone. Ah, oh, for God's sake! I've got the <laughs> metrosexual one again here. You wait till the break. It's going straight straight back over. Uh, I got I got a nice one for you. Actually. <laughs> anyway, a print wraps it from MX2. He was doing Euros, a uh, few GPs and stuff. Got injured last year. Not sure exactly what happened. Dislocated um, pelvis or something. I'm not sure. As far as I can remember, my little brain ticking over. Um, but yeah, moving to MX1, possibly with, uh, they're going to confirm this week. Kawasaki and stuff, my little sources tell me. Well, that's a good bike. I mean, Carlos now is uh, full time for them now, so it should be a good team. I'm expecting good things yeah, of Oakleaf yeah. Oakleaf next year. That MX1 year. next year is pretty solid. In, in yeah. The I wonder if they're going to go for something completely different on their bikes. Their bikes were great looking this year, and I wonder whether they're going to go for much the same or have a, have a redesign. If, if, if you are watching this, and hopefully you are, because everybody that's everybody's watching the motor show as we know from the dirt bike show yeah um if you've got a redesign of them and we could have some sneak previews that that, that would be really really good to see yeah, what the new, nice. new livery yeah, yeah. Um, i think they've, they've picked up a few sponsors and a few changes here and there and uh but their, their bikes i think were probably the best looking uh, they were last very year, nice I yeah think. definitely yeah. got a good start to them um that's it for a minute we're gonna we're gonna f finish this part of the show with uh, the clement de Salle interview and uh, have a listen in and have a watch because he was on good form. He was uh, completely different to what a lot of people think he is. Um, it's pretty rare to get a, a video interview with him. I know he was at the show and stuff didn't, and uh, Fox sort of arranged it for me and uh, it was good. He was really good form and uh, let's just hope it carries on the way. So we'll, we'll carry on and you can have a look at the video right now. Okay, welcome to uh, the, another interview at the uh, Dirt Bike Show. We have one of the world's best riders. Uh, Clement Dassel, Clement, welcome to the UK. Thank you. Yes, it's nice to be to be here to the show and see the the new uh, new kit example here, 2014 stuff. So it's it's great. So this is your second trip to the dirt bike show. You you can't you come two years ago. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. And that, is it, has it changed a little bit since the last time? Well, I think it's quite similar, you know. Uh, but it's interesting because. Uh, the, the stuff is really nice organi organized and uh, you can see a lot of things, so it's cool. Okay. Uh, your shoulder injury from the Nations, how is that coming along? Better? Yeah, it's, it's uh, step by step slowly better, but uh, I get the operation Friday after the, um, the MX of Nation. Because Monday I was to the doctor and uh, yeah, the result was bad, so I need the surgery. And, uh, yeah, I'm scary that it take uh, quite a long time before I take the bike, but, uh, but uh, let's say I have time for the moment to to make good regen regeneration and then take the bike uh, in good good shape. So going back to the nations, then obviously you guys, the Belgians, are the champions, who beat the Americans. <laughs> um, that crash, did you know straight away your shoulder was gone? Yeah, yeah, the, directly I feel it because I had uh, some experience with my shoulder before and then, uh, was, I could not believe it because, you know, last uh, last start of the year and then, uh, yeah, this crash and I think a bike hit me from the back and I understand directly that it was uh, something serious so I was really frustrated about it and uh, could not believe it but uh, yeah, it's like this and it took me quite uh, some weeks to accept it but what can I do, you know, I just have to fight now and then... Uh, I will uh, no. It's, I'm really uh, okay to to work a lot to come back uh, even stronger. So you were riding really well in the the first the first race and the qualifying on the Saturday. You were really really fast. Did you feel really confident for the weekend? Yeah, exactly. Uh, I was really uh, in a good feeling, especially on the qualification race and also in my uh, my race. But I start from outside and uh, my of my first motor. And I had a small problem uh, to the start. You, we can see that I get, I stay uh, on the line. Uh, yeah, my my, uh, my gear. Uh, 
I lose the gear, you know, I put in second gear and then yeah, something happened. But uh, anyway, I could manage to have a good comeback on third position. So it was really good. And yeah, I was feeling on a good, uh, good day of riding. So it was great. And uh, also my uh, teammate did it well. So, you know, they are, yeah, both, yeah, sure. So it was, it's good, you know, because it's a, it's a special weekend that every top, every three rider have to be good and uh, we could manage to do it. It's, it's really nice. Amazing, it was an amazing race. Uh, so for next year then, uh, exactly the same uh, World Championships. Because you go to, you went to America, you've been to America a couple of times and you've done really, really well. Have you thought about going there just to do the outdoors in your career? Uh, yes, uh, you know, for the next uh, two years, I think I'm, I, I'm definitely will be in Europe. But uh, I don't say no forever for America, you know. So I'm still really open to uh, to go there one, uh, maybe once full season, and maybe again some races uh, for the future, but uh, closer future, let's say. But not Supercross. In the future, yes. But if I want to ride Supercross, I definitely want to train for it. So. Uh, Maybe, maybe. So I've asked a few riders different questions about your favorite country you visit in the World Championships. What's your favorite country you go to, apart from Belgium? Uh, definitely not Thailand. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't like it, Thailand. I mean, uh, food. Yeah, uh, the town where we were there is uh, really dirty and everything. I mean, I don't want to be negative, you know, but it's just what I saw. Because some friend of me go there and sometimes say, yeah, it's so beautiful, so beautiful, and I was. Uh, Really uh, disappointed about what my friends say because it's, I expect something better. Kata was nice. But the, but, oh, it's difficult to answer you quickly like this, but uh, uh, in I'm Europe, in your Italy, something like that, like, like Italy. Not especially, no. Uh, some. The, I mean, I like America, England. you know. I, I like America. We don't have GP there. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have GP there anymore, but the two races that I make in, uh, except the World Championship, so I'm a championship, was really nice there. Like Tennessee was nice, Colorado and California was nice there. And obviously you being a, a Belgium and riding in sand and stuff like that, what's the difference between, because the argument, everyone says Southwick's a sand track. Is Southwick a real sand track? I've never been there in wheels, so it's difficult to answer you. I will see more South Street like like Valkenswart something yeah. you know not deep sand like Lirop or Lommel, so it's quite different things. So you're the rider when you were a, a kid. Yeah. Uh, what rider did you say I want to be like that? Was it a Belgian rider? No 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 no. It was uh, Chad Reed. Ah. Chad Reed. Yeah. Well, why Chad? Yeah. Um, nice style for me. It's my. Uh, the, it's the best rider for me. I mean I'm really a fan of him. And. Uh, I, in the, when I was in America, he gave me a jersey. I said thanks again to him for that. <laughs> and uh, I, I really like like his style. And uh, for me, it's the perfect style you can uh, have, uh, especially when he was in uh, Yamaha 2004, I think, and then also uh, in Suzuki, like some years ago. That was the for me the best uh, style you can have. For, it's it's him. And, and for you now, do you, uh, obviously you're still getting over your injury. Are you right again in the new year, January, February or January to ride again? Yeah, I hope so. Yeah, definitely. I hope January I can take back my bike. Yes, yeah. so I will we'll listen to the doctor, but uh, definitely I will work uh, good on it to try to take the bike as soon as possible. And you're training off the bike. What do you do? Run, cycle? How do you? What's your... Regime? Yeah, not yet because anyway, after the season, I wanted wanted to take one month and a half rest, you know, to do something different. And uh, yeah, I think middle of November, if the doctor says it's okay. But no, I don't. I don't feel really comfortable to run or to do something yet. Now I have to rest. And uh, so let's say no, end of November, December, I will restart slowly uh, and uh, my preparation. And obviously being a, a fox rider, have you seen your new fox kit for next year? Yeah, that's what I'm doing here, you know, I come look the new uh, design and, and, and I think we can do some cool stuff for next year. It will be cool. Well, we'll see you again in uh, 2014 and good luck for next year. Yeah, thank you so much. Thank you. There we go, Clement de Sal. Very good. It was very good, to be fair. It was a good interview. It, it, it's curious because he's Belgian. <laughs> <laughs> 
You all grow up. <laughs> so to start off with. You've got a bit on your uh, mic. Ooh. Ooh. You've got a bag of these, so we can have we'll both have the same what, what colour we like, actually. Yeah, I suppose. Yeah. What colour? No, you did know on that video there, you did go into I'm talking to a foreigner, I will speak very slowly <laughs> and not speak only, properly. Only at you the come beginning. to Europe. <laughs> you come <laughs> shout I'm not deaf. <laughs> he's a lot more French than I imagined. Yeah, he is. He's but he's from the French part of Belgium. Well, I got that. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs> really, I thought he was from the Flemish part. Like, no, but he's a uh, very, very, very French. He is very, very French. Yeah. Yeah. But my, my sort of your, my European. Mm. <laughs> that didn't work. Though those questions. Yeah. Your favourite country? Not a big fan of Thailand. No. I think it's I... sponsorship from the Thailand Tourist Board has gone, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. Could photo bomb by photo bombing by the kid. Though. Yeah, he was good. He, he came back a, a, a number of times. Waving. Yeah, so, well, I think there's there's probably uh, stickers available for photo bomb kid. If that kid kids. is uh, watching mm. or his mum and dad or whatever, send us an email. Yeah, good work. I think and, so. And uh, we'll send you some stickers and a t-shirt because that was that was good photo bombing that or video bombing. Yeah, I think so. And little I noticed wave. you did a little bit of a bit of a sort of hip hop down in the hood handshake at the end of that interview. There went for that. Went, he went for a little. Thumbs up, and he went, yeah, down in the hood, man. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I like it's about the same rough, rough, yeah, rough, rough, rough side of the tracks. Yeah, yeah down with it, down with it, see, aren't I? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no idea what you're doing, really. No. <laughs> no, it's, I got to say, it was an interesting interview. He's, uh, you know, he's mentioned about Supercross and racing the states, and you didn't ask him, what's it always like to become second? Because that must be a killer. Mm. He's such yeah, a good he's... rider. Yeah. But he's won a lot of races and he's won... Well, I know, but... He's won the World Championship, hasn't he? Did he? No. He didn't win the World Championship. No, because straight away, Cairo came on the scene and started blasting it. Oh. So, yeah, I mean, um, Ramon's done it for Suzuki a couple of times. Yeah, he won national I know, champion. but on the World Championship, while Cairo still there, he's got to be so much better than me. He, he, can, he can undoubtedly do it, but when Cairo on his game, he's always yeah, going to be the bridesmaid. Yeah, but when he, yeah, he's fast. Yeah, but what do, what what can he do? Well, an interesting point that we made about the nations is took it's taken him a couple of few weeks to get over the fact that he crashed mentally. Yeah, he, he was gutted. Oh yeah, because he, yeah, he, 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 he was won and he was he won. He, he could hardly raise, raise his hand in his um, in the air when he was sort of cheering. Yeah. I mean, it's great to do, yeah. but you want well, to he's probably in a lot of pain. To be fair to the bloke. Oh yeah, God, he, he, he looked awful. I mean, you didn't notice, but before the interview, he actually decided to take his his, his sling off. But he yeah. should be carrying a sling for that because his yeah. his shoulder is is, is bad. bad. So yeah, but yeah. So no. thanks to uh, Steve and John and the lovely Libby from Fox for arranging that for me because. Uh, yeah, it's, you know, he was a busy guy. Yeah. Are you wearing lots of fox gear now? No, no, I've got some. I'm still waiting for me fox hoodie to turn up. Yeah, you think you should do. Yeah. I think it's that Alpine Star Sit? Uh, no, it's a Moto t shirt, I think. What? No, Vans. Vans? Yeah. Uh, down, you're, down you're, you are down, so damn cool. Have you been skateboarding today? <laughs> <laughs> doing oh, a, yes. Doing a slappy grind and a stale yeah. fish? Oh, yes. Bit of a bum whip. Well, it Get does in. smell of stale fish in here, to be honest. <laughs> Is it? Yeah. Well, that. that's because you've got a bag of rubbish hanging up by the door, isn't it? You can take it out when it's full. <laughs> it's allowed. Cleaner. The class the cleaner's job. You haven't got a bloody cleaner. I have got a cleaner. Have you? I've got a cleaner. Well, a proper French maid and all that. No, Off of the 70s. definitely not a French maid. You come around with a feather duster. <laughs> Off you extras. <laughs> Bonjour. <laughs> <laughs> right, the Dirt Bike Show then. It was good. It was good. Enjoyable. Well, it was a good time. Catch up with lots of lots of people you haven't seen for, for, for a Just while. last week. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, fair enough. <laughs> Uh, shame not to see the the Husabergs. We talked about that. So they're, they're going to be sh showing those at Eichma, uh, and see anything we saw with it. Sorry, yes, Huskies. But um, again, the Husabergs. So weird how they went there. Yeah, so another year. I think oh, a bit un uncertain. We, we, sorry, we we will set a question. So but the no, question I've tucked that in now. So don't oh, put it down. Right. Gonna, Dave Willett's going to fall down on your head. Otherwise, all oh, right. Okay. Well, this is Clement's uh, jersey signed by Clement himself uh, from Fox Rockstar jersey. Um, We'll put, set the questions underneath. All you need to do is just yeah, fill it in. Yeah, retailing almost thirty pounds. Yeah, yeah. So it's a, it's a, it certainly is a nice jersey to put into a memorabilia uh, frame it up and stuff. Yep, as in Mr. Pastranas and Mr. Clark's. Yeah, Mr. And, Clark, and can you see your well shirt there? there? Tom, we still got to get rid of Tommy's. Yeah, and we've had, we've also got Elliot's as well. Nobody's won that yet. We haven't got actually, all kinds of these shirts. Yeah, going on, there's all shirts. We got DVDs to give away. No, don't do that one because you're meant to have sent. You haven't sent it off again. Who won that? That bloke with the questions last oh, week. Oh yeah, sorry, that was. John Farrell, was it Farrell? Yeah. John Farrell, yeah. yeah. Sorry, John, I'll stick. He's, he's I will put this. this. It'll be here six months later. No I will charge. Put this, you you John. better off walk to Bristol and pick it up. 
for the speed it's going to take you. Send your courier down. <laughs> Even if you're in Aberdeen, you can walk here fast speed to get in the post. I'll send you this with a T-shirt and some stickers. It'll I'll still put be here next week, really. I'll put it on the set. No, it won't. You'll yeah. have done nothing with it. I was, I was, when I did the interviews, it, when we, well, you were the cameraman that we I did. know, yes. You were very Cecil good. Cecil Mill. Yes. <laughs> and go. Action. <laughs> that like the bit, get back. Yeah. Filming, get back. Yeah, I had to move between director and some sort of security role uh, yeah. in order to stop absolute clowns <laughs> walking in front of the camera. <laughs> I mean, you saw on the, on the video with the sort of intentional photobombing from the kid, but also the, the, the absolute clarts who want to look at the stuff directly behind, behind <laughs> the camera. And you think, can you not just wait? Can you not see that? a bloke with a microphone talking to another guy there might be something going yeah, on just, and with a ca ma big camera with a tr on a tripod yeah it's, it's fairly it's fairly obvious unbelievable. and it was just like you did a good job front. you did a good job Thank i gotta you very say much. yeah you considering it's your first really real you even let me take a photograph as well i did and that come out all right yeah yeah not bad he's getting it yeah <laughs> <laughs> i can have, I can have a badge of gold stars like i'm in mackie d's can't i yeah don't give up your day yeah. job yeah. hey well, <laughs> <laughs> um, do by show that again the show was actually really good this year yeah it was good it was I thought well, the last there. few years has died off every year has gone a little bit I don't know lots of words stout they changed it around a bit there were lots of there was lots of out, outdoory bits loads of areas you could try Suzuki you could try Hondas you could learn to ride you could try radio control stuff there was the uh, pit bike championship that whole track seemed to be made out of modelling clay. Did you see it? It was very. Uh, oh, it was very hard, moldy, wasn't, it? wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. I think they could just pick the whole thing, the whole thing up, and put it on the back of a back of a truck. Uh, what else could you try? Those little Osset bikes. They were they, they were, were nice. Good. That was busy. The, the kids on those bikes were quite amazing, and 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 again, it's quite quite good if you're buying a kid bike, run really safe, and it can tally silence. They have a championship, but apart from people turning up in a field with the cars, the actual racing in the it's championship. Like, what's the noise? I just it's like it's ticking of a chain. Osset, yeah, it's <laughs> osset race. Yeah, <laughs> does like a like a small animal, isn't it? Yeah, osset. Yeah. There is a, there is something called an osset in there. Yeah, I'll check. Yeah, Let's see if there is. I swear there was an osset. Yeah, I think there is too. Yeah, like a cat-like thing. Yeah, I think you're Possibly. right. A sloth. <laughs> no, it's the sloth. You wouldn't name wouldn't name your animal after something that just hangs around in a tree, comes down once a week for a, a dump, and then goes back <laughs> up. Well, That's not a marketing might name. Dump from the tree, mind. No, they don't. Don't they? No, 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 no. Hang no. on, hang on, David Attenborough. Where no. did that, how do you know? I just one of these. I got a biology degree, you know. Oh, I know yeah. this stuff. She has actually got a biology yeah, degree. Yeah. So Lucy, Lucy actually was holding baby sloths when she was over in uh, in Mexico. Lucy's your daughter. Yeah, it? that's it. And I got a picture of her with a baby sloth. Is that a shout out to your daughter then? Yeah. Was it? Hi, Lucy. Yeah. <laughs> we won't do a picture of her. That's that'll go in a different direction. But anyway, sloths when they feel like it, they clamber down, take really slow. They are the slowest creatures in the world, though, I think aren't they? so, yeah. And actually, the Mexican word for sloth so just means lazy. So basically, if they're up the tree, it takes them a week to get down, a week to get back up. Yeah. Uh, they're just non-stop, up and down. Yeah. <laughs> or get down the bottom and say, oh, damn, I forgot the toilet roll. <laughs> it's up there, hanging on the tree. Oh, oh you're a week later. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I'll just leave, use some leaves, there's no one oh, around. Oh, God, leaves, they were the days. <laughs> <laughs> Sloth in a former life. <laughs> no, I can tell you some stories I'm not going to. No, nothing involving leaves and no. what they might be used for no. in the bushes. <laughs> I feel sick. Now. Anyway, we've, we've gone off onto <laughs> sloth hour. Yeah, yeah, do it, Mike Show. I, yeah, it was good. There, it was, uh, there was, there seemed to be a lot of traders there selling in retail. Yeah. A lot of people on the Thursday because they did a reduced price on, the, on, on, on the Thursday. Oh, hang on. You went on Saturday, didn't you? Yeah. It was packed. Yeah. It was chock a block. Well, it's just one of, one of those one of those things up on, up on thir Thursday. The Thai, Thai meal, which was nice, uh, busy, busy on Friday, and motor party on, on the Saturday, then, then on Friday night, and then back then. Oh, that was a bit. We, yes. took, we took Christian out and, and a few clients out for uh, Champions Dinner. Yeah, and good. good Unfortunately, Chris. Unfortunately, Elliot was ill. He's probably just ill still after that foul. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was but, a coma. Yeah, <laughs> but he was, it went very well. So Elliot couldn't make it. And uh, yeah, we had a good time, and um, a few of us had. Nice. Christian was doing well. I was expecting him to be a right lightweight on the on, on the beers because often motocross have been training all all, all, all season. He drinks water. He's a professional athlete. Well, he, he, he's having quite a lot of water in, <laughs> in shot glasses in that case. <laughs> Fair play. I would say thanks to the Embo Yamaha guys for uh, buying the whole table shot after shot. That was, that was good, wasn't it? Yeah. I, I don't know what it was. Was it, it Baileys was and what? Yeah, bubble gum, wasn't it, they called it? Liquid, but it, it was nothing like it. It was like baby, Baileys and washing up liquid. Yeah, and it went down a tree. It, it was all right, it actually. It was, yeah. The cool. meal, meal thoroughly, we, we did tweet the bar a few pictures. Oh. 
Yeah, I, I think that there, there was a quite distracting. They could have actually served as anything, and it was a uh, "You're lovely, you yeah, are." Yeah, it just got and, worse and, and worse. And actually, it? a few of them, few on the table, were set, were thrown over there because they were easy on the eye. Mm. And when the girl said, "Actually, we're sisters," I mean, th 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 there was a sort yeah, of a, a collective eyes went a bit, and it was like, yeah. "Oh, back yeah. in the room." <laughs> <laughs> but the, the co they served great cocktails. Yeah, they were good. We gave a good, good and uh, downstairs for the downstairs for the party. For the party, which was uh, uh, a little bit worried because we got down there and it was a little bit slow. Yeah, well, that's because they went to the toilet, come back out, it was rammed. <laughs> well, we went, they went downstairs at nine forty, and it's yeah. like when I was sixteen going to the nightclub at yeah. nine forty. But it yeah. did. But also, we had managed because often on years to come, if you've been to it, you've you probably noticed that it is a little bit, let's say, uh, man heavy. Uh, a bit in, of a what's it fest? Yes. Yeah. Well, yeah. this year I think. Uh, Tom had done well in going around to anybody with any signs of a female chromosome and kind of giving them a ticket. And it didn't matter whether they were coming to the show, whether they had an interest in motorbikes. Uh, I think it must have been going around the, the whole area because it was a reasonable balance it of male, male, male good, to women. Yeah, it was very good, to be honest. Yeah. Being a single bloke, it was good. Mm, yeah. Mm. And I think uh, Amy, Amy and her and, and her friend were the, were, were the glamorous couple. We did tweet a picture of those. There, it was good of Amy to turn up on it. Mm, Amy and uh, I can't remember her friend's name actually. No, I can't Flash remember. up the picture. Yeah, I'll put the picture yeah. up. There you go, Amy and her friend. Right, dirt my show. That was a, uh, I would say, uh, a great success for the guys this yeah, year. Yeah, I think so. New new promoters on it, and yeah. uh, good good numbers on there. Um, good luck the manufacturers. Up, yep. So, and as I said, Saturday was chock a block. Um, new Manx out. Yes, it was wait, waiting for me when it when it came back. Yeah. Now I was expecting expecting a, a nations cover, but I guess it's just because we are a few a few away from well, the from, thing, from the, the thing, nations. The thing with publishing, uh, and uh, there's a lot of people that forget. You know, you it's six weeks, seven weeks yeah, old. Yeah, I know. So we you know, majority goes online, and then you may do a you know because we don't do race reports in the magazine like some mags. Yeah, but I had heard that Kendra Diker had. Taken out a subscription because he thought he'd get in the onto, onto the <laughs> cover. cover. And yeah. now, now he's sat in, sat in Belgium. Going, but they said. <laughs> yeah, big can. Um, no, it's a great magazine. There's a lot in there. We tested, obviously, all the bikes and stuff. There's, it's, it's, it's test heavy. Um, yeah, it's, uh, it's a strong, strong issue. Some as nice per pictures normal. of Willett going, going, going well. Yeah. How many yeah. covers has he had now? He's got to be the most. Most, most covers for a non-professional any, professional well, any rider. rider. I, I, I think, think any so. rider, to be yeah. perfectly honest. Yeah. I don't think there's a rider anywhere in the world um, that has as many covers as Dave Willett. Yeah. Dave Superstar Willett. <laughs> but yeah, there's a, there's a hell of a lot. Um, yeah, the, we'll put a picture up now and just to show you some highlights. But Mag's out in all good shops now. Um, if you don't want to buy it, then subscribe. If you don't want to buy it in the shop, well, there was good subscribe. deals on uh, subscriptions at the show. That was going, deal, going, yeah. going well. And how many hoodies did you get for the deal, Ray? How many? Oh, it was six, one. Sixteen hoodies. <laughs> yeah. Sixteen hoodies no, and was, one it was, magazine. It was one. Yeah, one mag and twenty-seven boxes of <laughs> and hoodies. a hoodie, a hoodie a month for the rest of your life. <laughs> hoodie, or a t-shirt and a cup of coffee. Uh, mm. Which one should I go for? No, it's two t-shirts or a uh, hoodie. And uh, it was good. It was. Uh, we've lots of people on the doing the poking their head through the uh, through the. Yeah, the, that the goes cover. up. That's up online now as we speak. Um, so go and take a look at it. See if your picture's there and uh, tag yourself. And the, the winner, we pick out the hat. <laughs> don't, don't tell me. You'll send them something. <laughs> <laughs> I, Postal service will no. be entirely privatised by the t by the time you get out to it. I will send. We will send. The mag will send them a whole and Dep a whole Dep exhaust system for their bike. I hope they've got something that depth stock for. I've got a 1962 Aerial Square Four. <laughs> CZ. <laughs> <laughs> no, so Deb's going to send you a pipe. So keep a high lookout. Tag your name, and we'll pull them out of the hat in the next few weeks. And uh, whoever wins it gets a whole. That's it's got to be 700 quid's worth, isn't it? Minimum. Yep. Yep. So that's a good price. Anyone else you saw at the show who hadn't been seen before? Roger, Roger Warren came over. He was uh, Roger checking Dodge. Me. They're still speaking to him. Now we're media superstars, yeah, he's, obviously. He's, I think he's, he was shaking, wasn't he, a little bit in his yeah, boots? Yeah, I think so. I, I did sign a T-shirt for him. You did you? Yeah, yeah well, you, you got to, really, yeah. Yeah, for the fans. Anyone yeah. else you spot at the show? It was, uh, <sighs> oh, Je um, Noble. Ross Noble was there. Yes. The comedian. Mm. He's doing a ride. There's a, a show on one of the satellite channels of him riding up and down the country but he's doing um one of the big rallies isn't he uh, sea to sky or something like something that something like that yeah he's, yeah. Uh, he's really the, into his biking honda? Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay. yeah i think he might be yeah. doing a bit doing with honda well, i was meant to grab him for an interview but i forgot all about it 
<laughs> well, we did see him because he was skulking around. I, I thought he had your hat on, to be honest. He, he was lumping around in a, in a, in a cloth cap. Mm. And bizarrely, we would we would we looked on the, on the Facebook and during the day, and there was to be some random picture of Dave Thorpe with Billy Connolly at the dirt bike show yeah, in, which in, is in, in the past. I'll stick that up as well on the screen now. Yeah, and like, Dave yeah. Dave could straight away re- remember that. Uh, and and a curious in a sort of a circular sort of thing. It, was, it was a shame we should have got him to be photographed with with Ross Ross yeah. Noble and a, with a current rider. Yeah, strange, wasn't it? Motocrossers and comedians. Comedians. I think I think we could take it very far to be honest. No. To be honest, I can't. I can't. I've seen. You know, I know. We can't Ross tell you who Ross Noble was. Yeah, yeah it's, not, it's um, not one of my comedians I particularly like. Yeah, well, you should Google him. Well, not like, funny. but I don't. I'm not. No, I'm not. He likes his bikes. Yeah. Yeah. And I think he can ride really well. I'm sure he was riding the Welsh Two Day this year. Yeah, because so we, 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 we were having a good old laugh with him about Bernard Manning and stuff. Oh. No, no, can't, can't think whether no, can't I can't was. remember. Well, by that time, we probably had all the six, six, 16 bubble, liquid bubble gums, hadn't we, by yeah, that point? And, yeah. But Ray was actually on the beers that night. Well, he's, yeah, been, he's been, was, been on in strict I ve- training. I was very disappointed with myself because I started on a Diet Coke. Yeah. And then that went out the window. And you went, you know what? <laughs> <laughs> straight away. Well, straight as soon as I had a it. sip of Christian's uh, cocktail, that was it. That was a Long, Long Island iced that tea, wasn't quality. it? That was That was real. That was five yeah. shorts in that bag. I was on the mojitos at that point. Yeah, that's, yeah a little bit... Uh, yeah, it's nice to have a bit of, bit, of, bit of vegetation in your drink. <laughs> yeah, it was a lot of vegetarian in your <laughs> drink. To there wasn't fair. a vegetarian in my drink. <laughs> <laughs> I like to pulling people out of the hat. But uh, what are we going to give away this week? Oh, we're going to give away that. So there's a question underneath for Clements. Um, well, are you working with this way down this down this pile of, pile of yeah, um, well, we DVDs? No, no, we can't give that away. <laughs> we can't give that away again. What can we do? Well, well uh, all right, basically then. So to go with the jersey, we'll give a, a Stone Spray Sandwich DVD. Cool. What year is that? <laughs> <laughs> Fresh, uh, 2000, 2009. It's actually 2005. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. He's so <laughs> generous. He's giving her a, I got an eight-year-old uh, DVD. I, I, I got out of the oldie basket. <laughs> Pang basket. Fantastic. Uh, now, we found it in the cupboard. Yeah, so, really yeah, nice. we'll give that away with the... Um, anything else? Like a piston oh, look, off an 82 Suzuki Yamaha or something yeah. like that? Yeah. What does Carmichael say on the front? He's retired on it. <laughs> he was about 17 then. <laughs> <laughs> so we'll give that away this so week. So generous. Yeah, with the uh, the South thing, uh, Jersey. Yeah. So, um, yeah, anything else you want to talk about? Well, I don't know what's, what's coming up. There's that Enduro coming up in Liverpool. Yeah, the Enduro in Liverpool, which looks good. Yeah, but it's an afternoon event. Yeah. The theme on that one, it was like 2 two till Oh, the NEC's coming afternoon. up one day at the NEC. Yeah, we're going to pop up and see the we're big motorcycle show. Ten days at the NEC, it'll oh. kill me, I think. No, honest. well, it's one of, one of those ones you run. There's good good bargains up there. You can have, have, have a look around. There's there's less and less kit. A bit like the dirt bike show, that the online stuff means there's less and less kit to look look around. But there are some bargains, oh, chat, bargains oh, really? to be had. Well, you know, we, on Thursday night at the show, we went for we always go for a Thai Thai meal on the Thursday night. Yeah, when we're in in Leamington Spa, I can't remember. What I was chatting to her the weekend. They said they went to the Thai restaurant and it come to nine hundred pound the bill. I said, are you sure? Because you obviously ripped off. 900. 900 quid, yeah, for 16 of them. Seems a lot. It does seem a lot. It was about, what, about £20 a head or something yeah, like that, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, if that, really, yeah. Yeah. It's strange. Fame and Buse and a... And a so the, well, the, they do have some awful names in there. I won't say them out because they're, they're all... Oh, they were... A shame we didn't take any pictures. <laughs> Big Doc Dunn or something yeah. like that. <laughs> Big Poo Wang, wasn't it, or something. <laughs> <laughs> it was just ridiculous. But yeah, so I think we'll end the show there on the... Uh, on that note, the big poo wang. Well, hang on a second, hang on a second, because we're ending on the on on the on the big That's interview. What you aren't said we? we're going to blend into it. Jeez. Well, you've got to say what's coming up, haven't you? Don't just say no, we're ending and <laughs> then go ya, into bye. it. Yeah. Oh, oh. oh well, by the interview. I will tell you what. Uh, right, you carry on talking. I'll yeah. Right. He's going off. This is so professional. We were ask, asking one of our random questions we asked in in, in the week, which will come up, which was, uh, was there one thing as a child you uh, wish you had but never we never had? No. Ray came up with that, and he was meant to be asked a question by one of the girls, uh, Katie Bullock. She ended up asking him uh, what, who was his favourite favorite, um, childhood hero, which went for Muhammad Ali. I was dying to be asked the question because, what are you doing over there? I can't keep on for ages. What are you doing? He's, he's rattling alongside the camera here. Ray, is, what, are you unwrapping new T-shirts? And I'm like, I was waiting to be asked the question, thinking I've got a good one here. Uh, nobody asked me the question. So, Ray, would you like to ask me the question, please? 
Right, I'm back. Okay, well, I'll show them in a minute. What, what that? Well, go with. There'll be another prize with the the up to date DVD <laughs> and the uh, the fox jersey. So, as a kid, was there anything you really wanted but you never got? Yes, stock car smash ups. Which was a game off of the 70s, and you got these things, you know, the friction motor, and you just throw them at each other, and I'd ordered it from the catalogue. So, like, really, the... with those wheel... F well, a bit like that. We used yeah. to do it for, with, with, with Lego, and you put these there. Well, this was a game. Now, I ordered it from the catalogue from my grand, picked it out. She used to give us the Grattan catalogue, pick it out from her. Nice. She must have written down the wrong n number. So, comes down to <laughs> Christmas Day, I'm thinking, oh, great, it's stock <laughs> car, stock car <laughs> smash up. Oh, no, it was a toy, at least. So, I unwrapped this box, thinking, oh, great, it's going to be the mornings we go on stock car smash up. Got up. Lone Ranger on his horse. Because <laughs> obviously that must have been the number next to it. Yeah. Lone Ranger on his horse. He was about that big with the horse. I put this little, frankly effeminate little Lone Ranger on his horse, stood him up in a, in a rampant sort of rearing up pose, knocked it over, his legs snapped. <laughs> so my, my Christmas present was a three-legged horse <laughs> and, and a small Lone Ranger in a very tight denim outfit. Oh, dear. I, oh, those are the days. Yeah, man. I'd ask for money after right. that. You're like this. this is, now, this is these. We found these in London in our office in London. <laughs> Along with the videos. <laughs> yeah. This and is I, more old stock you're offering yeah, people. I, <laughs> hang on. No, you're like this. Because you, you'll ask for one. Yeah. Basically, we found these in, in the part in the warehouse part of the office. I like the way you've hidden it behind you. And great, yeah. re great reveal. Yeah, great reveal. <laughs> and they were made, but nobody, they just disappeared. Nobody really seen them. Mm. Now. These are, grab that corner, Moto training tops. They are quite nice. They actually. are, yeah. yeah. Long sleeve training tops. Yeah, I will have one. Yeah, you've got a box of them. Yeah, yeah. that'd be fine. Yeah. And, well, and come sort of slouch style pajamas, I would say. Mm, yeah, a, a, yeah, yeah. A bird could wear it, I suppose. Yeah, yeah. But um, that's a quality training top. I shall be wearing that in the gym tomorrow morning. Fantastic. Yeah. Are there any trousers to go with it? What like a well, like, 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 you're like a around, leisure suit? Yeah, like <laughs> hanging around like you're unemployed in in, in totally in grey. <laughs> no, but that's a nice top, isn't it? Yeah. Other thing we saw at the party, which suddenly turned up, with which was Moto, the original Moto, the very, the very yeah, first Leah, one. Leah, who did our presenting at the uh, GP. Yeah. Uh, she brought along the very first Moto magazine, which, to be honest with you, unless we get it printed off again, we haven't got it in the office. Somebody's nicked it. Yeah. It was, Which it was is insane. Interesting to see it. It was it was quite good looking through that because out of all that, most of the, most of the riders there were still you know either moving to management or moved yeah, out yeah, or what, yeah. whatever. There was an article on Mike Brown in there, and yeah. we could still run an article on Mike Brown yeah, and in yeah. be current. Just shows yeah. that you know was it two thousand and four the uh, yeah two thousand and four yeah. So yeah, good good to see, but you know <laughs> we could, we could really got the one lot, God the magazine. Yeah, it, back then it was a good magazine. There's no two ways about it, but it's changed an awful lot. Yeah. Adam was going through, oh, I changed that, I changed that, I changed that. Yeah, yes, yeah. I know you changed that. Yeah, but it has, it's got better and it's just the whole yeah. publishing side. So how many of these can I have, by the way? One. One? Well, yeah, for every so member of the family, that is. No, grab that. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Put it up there like so. So that's a training top. That's that's a real nice training top. They are literally... Why do you call it a training top? What on a long sleeve t-shirt? Because it is a training top. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> the reason for it. <laughs> That's the reason. So yeah, old school, old school logo, yeah. old school typeface down the bottom. Yeah, they look smart in the gym or for a run or whatever. And it's light. Don't as keep well. showing off. That's gone. Oh yeah, that's yeah, James's. Yeah. Okay, well we're going to finish now with the uh, J World MX2 World Champion interview. Yep. A film by none other. Thank you so much. Yes. Interviewed by me. Uh, you put credits on the on the box. Yes. Fantastic. Is it is it rude credits? Have you said something nasty about <laughs> no, me? We, no, they they are embedded into it. They're not credited on the thing. So you have a you want what you're put, saying is it credits. If you want me in the future to put a credit cameraman, yeah. Julian Shalas. Absolutely, <laughs> yes. It's all about the Google hits. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're going to end with that and uh hope you enjoy it because he was I got to say Jeffrey was good fun and um uh, yeah, over to uh, well, over to me and Jeffrey. Yeah. Okay, we found the man himself, World MX2 champion Jeffrey Hurdins in the UK, over at the dirt bike show, having fun. Yeah, sure. You know, I uh, haven't been in England for a long time. You know, I didn't race the GP this year because of some uh, serious injury, but glad to be back here, uh, see some old fans and uh, the the good old uh, KTM uh, UK crew. So uh, it's good to see those guys and uh, happy to be here. Only I'm here for a short time, but uh, uh, I had a lot of fun. British fans, you know, there's obviously there's been a few things in the past which is all forgotten about now, but you've got a lot of fans in the UK. 
Yeah, definitely. You know, uh, I always like to come here. Uh, shame I couldn't race a GP because would have been great fun. Uh, I like all those small kids. They're really passionate about the sport and uh, also the, the the parents, all the adults. You know, they they really uh, are passionate about the sport. So it's good fun to be here. Uh, definitely with Tommy in 2012 had a tough season. You know. Uh, all England was, uh, you know, hate, having a hating on me. So uh, that not was all tough. of England. Not all of England. Not all of England, but uh, most of them were. So uh, that was tough. But you know, I'm uh, I'm glad to be here, as I said, and uh, glad to have win uh, loads of fans back. So uh, we'll be good. So going into the end of the year, then you must have, obviously you raced Lira up, one Lira up, and then you couldn't race at the Nations. You must have been really disappointed. Yeah, I was really gutted. You know, uh, I really uh, wanted to race there. Uh, also for the Dutch team, uh, for myself mainly, for KDM, you know, it's the biggest race of the season. So I wanted to be uh, racing there and show them what I've got. But obviously uh, I didn't heal up quick enough. I needed some extra time, so I wasn't uh, ready, uh, ready and uh, in shape in time. So uh, next year, uh, another try. Because yeah, there was a lot of BS on the, on, the, on, the, on the internet saying, oh, he wasn't injured. But how bad was the injury? It was real bad because I, I only started riding uh, last week, so I was out for uh, two and a half months. So the injury was bad, and uh, you know worked hard on my uh, my shoulder and physiotherapy, and I'm still even 100% now. You know I I can race, I can ride. You know uh, I don't have pain, but still, you know it, it's it's not like it used to be. Yeah. But um, you know uh, at that time, like in Europe, I had so much pain. You've seen it on my riding. You know I was two, three, maybe four seconds off of my normal pace in the sand, just because of the pain. And uh, you know, I was battling guys which I left the year before, like Koldenov. I left them the year before, and this year I was battling with them just because of the pain. But uh, end of all, you know, I'm glad uh, I'm, I'm glad I didn't make it any worse with racing in Europe. But uh, I wouldn't do it again. Okay, so you travel, you travel all around the world, all these different countries. What's the what's the one country that you think? Well, I don't really like this place. England? Nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I'm yeah, just kidding. <laughs> I, I always like to come here in England, but uh, some cars I really don't like to go is like Mexico or stuff. You know, you're going so far and, uh, you know, the hospitals are not that good. The food is not like at home, the, the, the hour difference. You know, those places I don't really like, but uh, England, uh, Europe, like every country I like. Maybe Bulgaria a little bit less, but um, one thing is good that I really like uh, England. So. So, uh, yeah, your trip to Russia wasn't uh, too successful as in after the race? Yeah, I mean, uh, I missed a bit of uh, skin on my front head because of that car crash out there. But, I mean, those things can happen in life and uh, it's really something uh, you, don't want, you don't want to happen. But uh, it did happen and uh, we have to learn from those things and hopefully it will never happen again. And now, obviously, you've just got to start riding again, you know, your shoulders healing. What's, yeah. what's your plans for Christmas? Do you go on a holiday or do you just chill at home? Um, well, I started riding. I just started riding, so I'm going to be flat out on my training program and traveling all around the world to do photo shoots, do testing, do all those things. So uh, it's, going to be, it's going to be busy, but uh, that's what we get paid for and that's what we love to do. So do you not go on holiday at Christmas anywhere or just literally stay home with the family? No, nah, my holiday will be on a racetrack. Whoa, serious. So, so you you train up till you train it to Christmas. You stop at Christmas for maybe a few days. Possibly? Well, I, I'm not ri I'm not riding uh, New Year's Day and uh, the 25th and 26th of December because you know that's the two days yeah. I need to spend home with the family. Otherwise, I would have been riding. So, um, that's the only days. But from now on, just put the hammer down. You know, I'm, uh, it's still four months, but. You know, the first races are already in three months and I didn't ride for two and a half months, so i uh, got a, a loads of work to do. I'm behind with testing and stuff, so i got many things to test and work on the bike for next year, so uh, I've got my hands full. So, obviously this year you decided to stay down MX2, which is the right decision. I, I, always, I always said that. What are, uh, is it, do you think it's going to be your last year in MX2? Um, nothing is decided, you know, uh, as contract I can do uh, in 2015 another year MX2, but I can also go MX1. So. I got, a, I got the option to do whatever I want, but uh, as it looks now, it will be 2014 MX2, 2015 MX1. But as I said, nothing is, nothing is confirmed. Last question. Everyone says, Jeff Hurden should be going to America. What's your reply on that one? Uh, you know, many people have been telling me the same thing, and I, I got to tell you the same story like I told all those other guys. You know, it's, it's easy to say, hey, you should go to America, but many people forget what's going to come with. You know, you have to leave your family, you leave your friends, you leave everything behind, you have to build a new future there. Uh, you don't got any friends, you know, you have a nine hour time difference, different weather. There's so many things you got to, 
got to change and adapt to. So it's not as easy as everybody say from like, hey, pack your bag and go to there. You know, you can do that for training 10 days, but not to go there for a few years. So you need a house, you need to buy cars, all those things, and it's not easy. So uh, it's, it's really a tough thing to do. And I just uh, maybe took the easiest option and just stay in, uh, stay in Europe. Okay. Well, there you go. That's from uh, Jeffrey Hurdens, MX2 world champion. And uh, we'll see him again next year in Qatar. And uh, thank you very much for talking to Moto. Yeah, no problem. Uh, great to have seen you guys here and uh, see you guys next year on the racetrack.